Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. I have another guide for you guys today. In today's character, we'll be covering Cloud Strife. Cloud is what I would consider a upper mid to lower high tier character. He definitely was definitely a top tier character in Smash 4, but he has had a small fall from grace, which is unfortunate because he really is a fun rushdown character. But even though he has kind of fallen off a little bit, he's still a pretty good character. So we're going to cover things like his moves, combos, that kind of stuff in today's video. This video was requested by two different viewers this time. Usually it's just one. First, Dakota Blank requested this, and the second review or the second viewer to request it was, and I might get this wrong, I believe it's the Pokemon channel, but it's with the Yoshi. I always I always see you commenting, but I'm never sure if it's the Pokemon channel or the PKMN channel. Regardless though, both those names should be hopping up on your screens right about now. On top of that, as I said before, we will be including combos in this video, so if you'd like to skip ahead, I'm going to leave a timestamp, hopefully that's popping up right around here. So feel free to skip ahead if you guys are interested in the moves and that kind of stuff, and just in the combos. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So with all my guides, I love to start off with some basic simple things, things like the taunts, your jab, your dash attack, and your tilts. So we're going to cover those first, we always start with taunts. This is your up taunt, your left and right taunt, and then your down taunt. Nothing too flashy, just kind of cool to have just in case you want to taunt on your opponent or something, I suppose. Um, anyway, covering the dash attack next. So your dash attack is a very, very powerful move that can kill much lighter characters early percent. However, it's a little bit later on Rob, but it's nice to have a move where you can basically just run up to your opponent or possibly read their roll and then immediately dash attack them and they end up dying. That's very good to have that as an option to kill with. Because a lot of characters don't have the ability to kill with their dash attack, well Cloud does. So let's set our oh, actually let's keep them a little bit higher so your jab is primarily used as a get off me option it's not going to take the kill it's not going to knock them crazy far it's just used whenever you feel uncomfortable with your spacing maybe your opponent's getting much too close to you very often you can just quickly back them away follow up with whatever you want afterwards next we're going to talk about your forward tilt your forward tilt is a good spacing tool that does pretty decent damage usually it's around 14 percent every time it does come out at frame 9, making it kind of slow, but that's okay, because if you space with it properly, you don't have to worry about being punished very often. So here's what it's going to look like if it hits. Usually it will kill around this percent on ledge, which is another good kill option. We're going to cover our up tilt next. Up tilt is one of Cloud's better moves, mainly because not only is it a combo starter, but it can also be used to juggle characters, as you'll see here. It doesn't say it's a combo, but we'll cover that more in the uh, later parts of the video. That's what his up tilt looks like. And then we have our down tilt. It can be used to maneuver around or trip up your opponent if you want to. You don't have to hit it if you want to just go and maybe someone, maybe your opponents, maybe you're playing a Samus and they launch a missile at you. You can always just kind of go under it if you want to or be sneaky and basically try to be stylish if you want to. But you can also use it as a way to interact with your opponent. So you can go down tilt, puts them right above you, which is very good. Puts them in a bad disadvantage state because Cloud is known for juggling his opponents with all of his uh, juggling tools. So it's right where they don't want to be and right where you want them, making it a pretty solid option as well. I'm sure by now you've noticed that Rob has 200% on him. That's because we're going to cover Cloud's throws. So... They're kind of sad, I'm not going to lie. There's not many characters that just have kind of awful throws. Well, Cloud's one of them. Good thing he has that big sword to help him. So, here's your forward throw. Um, doesn't really even come close to killing at 200. Just kind of a good off me option. Your back air, or I'm sorry, your back throw. That could be a kill option, maybe later, but we'll discuss why it won't be in here in a second. You have your up throw, which almost kills. You know, we're getting somewhere, 10%. And then we have your down throw, which uh, I'll show you in just a second. That one almost kills as well. However, if you go to the edge with Cloud and you do a back throw, you won't get the kill. But if you go to the edge with Cloud and do a down throw, you'll actually get the kill. So you are you should just go for a down throw close to ledge rather than back throw. It'll be much more likely to get the kill, I guess. But let's cover one more thing with these throws really quick. Another reason I don't think these throws are really all that hot is because if you're not going to have a kill throw, at least have throws that can combo. Well, Cloud doesn't really even have that either. So this is his down throw with no damage. Puts them right there. You really can't do anything afterwards. I suppose you could go for a forward tilt, maybe like a down air, or I'm not a down air, sorry, uh, a down smash. Maybe turn into him and do it. But even then, like, it's just, it's kind of 
doesn't really combo. Your opponent can shield or roll away or whatever they're going to do. So can't really use that. Your up throw is good only because it puts them above you. And as I said before, Cloud is very good at juggling, so that can be very useful. But other than that, nothing is true out of it. Like, I can't rise up immediately because there's just too much lag at the end of it. Your forward throw, as I said before, is just a get-off-me option. You really can't do anything afterwards either. I guess you could send a blade beam out and try to catch your opponent slipping, but even that won't work. Maybe a dash attack if it's quick enough. And your back throw, which is also just another get-off-me option that doesn't do much damage. So, if I were you, I would stick away from doing things like grabs with Cloud unless you really have to. Let's discuss Cloud's aerials, which I believe are some of his best moves he has. Arguably the best moves he has, but that's up for debate. So here's Cloud's aerials. We have his neutral air comes out at frame 5. This used to be just scary in, in Smash um, 4. Covered just so much more, I think. It's just do more damage, like not back with weird and stuff. But it's still a decent move. It's just not as crazy as it used to be. But it basically, it's just him taking his massive sword, swinging it in there, covering most of his body. And it comes out at frame 5, making it pretty quick. We're going to have our forward air be next. It's this massive blade coming down really quick. Or not really quick. It actually comes out around like frame 17 or 18, I believe. I, I'm not sure on the exact frame data of that. But I know it's pretty slow. But it's good for a few things. It's good for starting combos. It does decent damage just from one strike. And it can even spike if you happen to hit the, best, uh, the sweet spot on it. Which is very good. Nice to have a spike kind of... I don't know what it is about spiking your opponent, but whenever you do it, it seems to kind of like boost you up and kind of either irritate them or make them mad, which usually forces them to play worse than they normally would. So it's just nice to have a spike on a character. Not only does Cloud have that as a spike, but his down air is also a spike. It's a decent landing option because most of your opponents are just too scared to confront you when you do it. Plus, Cloud has kind of a decent fall speed, so... uh and kind of just home in on you with it real quick and if you hit the sour spot with it let's see if i can do that it'll slightly knock them upwards and it lets comboing be a little bit easier as well we have our back air this is probably i'm not going to say this is cloud's best move but it's definitely a contender cloud's back air is just so fast and it has such good range and the hitbox is there the damage is there the kill power is there that is an awesome move that he has, and I wish like they'd put a few more moves like that on other characters that need it, but by far, back air, definitely one of Cloud's better moves. So uh, feel free to use that whenever you need to get a kill. And we have his up air. Up air used to be super scary in Smash 4 as well, because I think the, uh, the hitbox is just so much larger. But it's still got a pretty decent size hitbox on it. It still is a pretty decent or juggling tool, and it still does pretty good damage. So you can just pretty much fall into it and immediately do another one if you want to. Or you can just stay in the air and make sure your opponent doesn't land, whatever you're going to do. But that's what it looks like. Pretty decent size hitbox. So I think Cloud really does have some of the better aerials in the game as far as they go. So feel free to use them quite often. Let's cover Cloud Smash attacks next. Start with the very first one, which is your Forward Smash. Forward Smash is the slowest out of all of them, but it does do the most shield damage, and it can kill very early. So here's what it looks like uncharged. Just three big hits. Usually, if you're playing someone who's just not familiar with Cloud, or perhaps like they just forget, or even just by accident, they sometimes drop their shield around the first or second hit. So they might shield the first hit, but not the second or third, which I always find really funny, because... You know, if it happens once, it's going to happen again. You know, you should be getting used to it. But regardless, people still just manage to not shield that for some reason. So I wouldn't spam it, but it definitely does do a ton of damage. However, if your opponent does is aware of the Cloud matchup and is just aware of everything Cloud can do, it is very unwise of you to use this move just consecutively because you will get punished very hard for it. But it still does decent damage. 22% uncharged. 31 fully charged let's put our opponent to around i think maybe even 60 might be a little much for a fully charged one but we'll see so not charged it almost kills at 60 fully charged it should absolutely kill at 60 if not sooner <laughs> like that, that's crazy um anyway moving on we have our down smash our down smash is a pretty quick move it does come out at frame eight making it his fastest of his smash attacks so if you're going to try to quickly run up to your opponent and do something, maybe they have um, fallen down and you've, you know, you caught them in the ground, you can kind of just sweep them up real quick with that. Covers the left and right side, starting with the way Cloud is facing first. So if he's facing the right side, he will go forward and then back. 
So here's what it looks like. Just a quick little 17%. You can combo into it with some moves. Back hit does more damage in the front, so <laughs> if you get the, if you happen to miss the first hit, don't feel bad. The second hit is the one you kind of want to hit anyway. It doesn't kill very often, or not often, I was going to say. It doesn't kill very early, but it can kill. Let's cover this real quick. I don't think this will kill. Yeah, I don't think so. But 17. And then fully charged, it should be able to kill. Yeah, absolutely. So, around 100%, maybe charge it up a little bit. If you can get it on the edge, it's even closer. Oh, there you go. On the edge, it will kill. So if they happen to read, if you happen to read a roll or something, you can always just catch them slipping with that. So that's always a good tool you can use as well. And last but not least, his up smash, which I think his up smash is probably his best smash move, to be honest. Despite it not being the fastest or the one that does the most damage, it's just very, very good at a lot of things. It's a very good anti-air tool. If their opponent's trying to land on you, you can always catch them. If there's platforms above you, you can always just swing your massive sword up. It covers nearly everything in front of him, behind him, and uh, above him. Here, I'll show you that really quick. So even though I'm facing, let's go away from Rob, the sword almost hits. There we go. So even if they're behind, you can happen to catch them. Of course, if they're above you, you will catch them. And if they're in front of you, you will also catch them. But it's very quick. It does happen to come out at frame 12, which doesn't sound very quick, but it makes it a very, very good um, shield option. So what I mean by that is, if your opponent hits you and you're shielding, you can just throw it out and you'll probably get the kill with it. It's a nice, easy way to take early stocks from, um, from lighter characters. As I said before, 16% uncharged and fully charged, it does around 22. And I believe at around 100 fully charged, it should have no problem killing. But keep in mind, since this will be your out of shield option, you most likely will not be fully charging it and you'll be just kind of swiping up really quick. So, but uncharged, it does almost kill at 110. I believe 120 should be more than enough. And that's how you'll be using it. Now, fully charged, I'm sure it kills around like probably 80 or 90. Let's let's put them to 90 just to check. If, oh yeah, I definitely will now that I think about it. Uh, let's drop it down to 75 and see if we can get lucky. Yeah, man, Cloud just hits so hard. So much not backs on all his moves. But yeah, those are all of Cloud's smash attacks. I think they're all pretty good by themselves, but. Definitely his up smash is one of the scarier moves that he has in his arsenal. So feel free to, don't spam it, but you can actually you can absolutely use it as kind of a shield option. But there is another really good shield option you have, other than grab of course, that we'll talk about next. It's time to cover the personality of Cloud, which is essentially the special moves. I feel like the special moves are the personality of every character because they represent them as best they can. And usually the special moves make the character really fun to play or really cool in a way. And if they're not, the character kind of feels lackluster. But fortunately for us, Cloud has some of the coolest special moves in the game. So let's cover them really quick. First one we're going to cover, we're going to cover Limit Last. Just so we can kind of like, I guess, drift on to Limit Breaker stuff. But here we go. So the first move we're going to cover is our Neutral B. It's the Blade B. Very solid projectile. Has around 7%, not too much knockback. You won't be using it to kill, but you can use it to gimp your opponent off the ledge. Let's say if your opponent's, maybe like you have a, I'm thinking of something like a Ganondorf or a Little Max, someone just without great recovery, you can always just throw out a Blade Beam and hopefully catch them and uh, it can gimp them. This Rob, unfortunately, will not be gimped by any Blade Beam, but uh, you get the idea. You also have your Side B, which is an awesome out of I'm sorry, it's a great combo ender. So basically, a lot of Cloud's moves can be comboed into that. So things like his forward air, his neutral air, a lot of stuff can combo into side B. What you do is you pretty much just side B. If you don't tap, you're only going to get one blade. That's just one side B. But if you tap multiple times, your side B will continue and do a five hit combo with around 24%. You have your up B. That's what it looks like if you do not press B, just eight points, or just around 9%. It has gotten a buff recently where it snaps and grabs ledge a whole lot better. This move used to be pretty bad because you could edge guard Cloud quite easily with it and punish him for just trying to recover, which Cloud didn't really have a great recovery to begin with, but giving him that uh, and the fact that you could basically punish him, like you saw how Cloud didn't really grab ledge right there, he just kind of popped his head up a little bit. That's what you don't want to happen. You want him to be able to just quickly snap and grab wedge, you know? So it's nice that they kind of buff that a little bit. 
And the last thing we're gonna, oh, I'm sorry. Also, if you do this move, if you hit B up, when you're at your climax, you can hit B again and he'll come back down. And it'll look like that. And that can be used to actually spike. So I take what I said back about two spikes. This is actually a character, dang, bad grab range with three spikes. If you really want it, but <laughs> that one's a little bit more trickier to hit. And sometimes it, your opponent, if they have a decent um, up special or any kind of recovery, they'll usually make it back from that one. But if they don't and they've already used their jumps, chances are they might die from it. So it's pretty good. All right, so now let's cover the thing that we all know Cloud for, his limit. I'm sure you guys have noticed it on his character. He's one of the few characters that just seems to have this massive bar across his head. That is his limit bar. So the way you charge your limit is you can either deal damage or take damage. If I deal damage to this Rob, the bar will increase slightly, as you see there. Kind of doubled right there in size. It will not always double. It's just based on the damage. See? But you can do it by that. You can also do it by taking damage but we'll just take my word for it because i don't want this rob to hit me and um the other way you can do it is by manually charging it which in this case is your down b um this can take about usually around three to five seconds to charge but once you have it as you see here your cloud has this blue aura around him now what made cloud so good in the previous game was is he could basically charge his uh his limit and it just wouldn't go away you could save it for when you needed it if you really didn't have any intention to use it and it was your recovery tool because like i said before cloud didn't have the best recovery in the game you could just save your limit until you really had to use it well they took that away in this game and that was a huge nerf to him after 15 seconds as you just saw limit will disappear so be very very mindful of your resources because it will eventually leave you if you do not use it so let's recharge it again around five seconds also, another thing that Limit does is, not only does it improve his special move attacks, but his overall movement speed and everything else, his air speed, gets improved, which is really nice. It even rivals like much faster characters in the game, which is pretty scary. Um, that being said, despite it uh, making his movement a lot quicker, just because his movement is quicker does not mean his moves are. So despite him being quicker overall, his move speed, his frame bait, all that kind of stuff, that will still be the same. So keep that in mind. You will not have faster moves, just a faster cloud. All right, so let's cover the limit breaking moves. You have your neutral B. Your blade beam is now a multi-hit blade beam. It does tons more damage. It can kill around a later percents. It's also good for, I've seen a lot of clouds do this and I myself do this occasionally, but not often. If you know your opponent's attempting to grab a ledge, one of the things you can do is you can just throw the blade beam at the ledge. Let me try that again. You can just throw the blade beam at the ledge. That way, the hitbox is extended, and it pretty much forces your opponent to have to find a new way to recover or die trying, you know? So just be very mindful of that. You have a lot of options to edge guard with as well once you hit your limit. Let's get limit back real quick. Um, you can All your moves are increased in strength. So your side B, instead of just being the multi-hit where you tap B repeatedly, it now is just a simple one tap, and it does it all for you. And that move kills pretty early too, so that's a pretty scary move you have. 32% just off of one quick move, and you saw there it was very, very, very fast. Your up B is now a whole lot better. Instead of maybe not uh, collecting the edge, you will definitely reach it, which is very nice. Another thing that I see people kind of not realize is if you are dying with Cloud, Let's say you need your uh, up B or something, and you can't reach the stage. You can always charge limit while you're off stage and try to recover. So keep that in mind too. Don't just think you're dead because you la you lose a jump or something, or you don't think your up B can. Because if you're close to limit, there's a good chance you might actually be able to make yourself, or you might be able to save yourself from dying. And last but not least is the finishing touch. The finishing touch is a very flashy move that does no damage. One <laughs> percent. Alright, but as you saw there, Rob went very high in the air, and um, that's because if you can manage to get this hit on your opponent, maybe on a platform, or you can combo them, maybe you can juggle them into this, this move is ridiculously good at killing. Not for damage, but for killing. And it is a very flashy ending, which is why it does have the nickname of the finishing touch. So uh, feel free to uh, try to use that and see if you can get a kill with it. But those are Cloud's special moves. Hopefully I covered everything there. I'm not really... I'm trying to remember if I missed anything, but I think I got everything there, which is good. But anyway, on to the combo portion of the video. 
All right, we made it to the combo portion of the video. So in this one, I have a few combos that I got for you guys. Some of them, some, some are some pretty basic bread and butter stuff, and the other ones are kind of more tricky and uh, difficult. But the first one we're gonna do is one that I feel like you should probably learn, just because it's a lot of damage very early on, and it's just an easy way to get your opponent kind of where you need them for kills. Because um, while Cloud does have a combo game. It's not super, super crazy. You still can combo fairly easily, but it's not like you're gonna be doing like, you know, a zero to death, you know, 20 hit combo with them. It's gonna be more like, you know, a one or two or three hit combo with some occasional ones that can get you around 40 to 50%. So this first one we're gonna cover is one of those ones that can get you around 40 to 50%, or at least a good chunk of percentage that you need. What you're gonna be doing is you're going to have your opponent at zero and you're going to do a fair to up tilt to up B. And then we do have another way you can do this combo it works at a different percent but we'll discuss that after we do this one so let's do this one first here we go as i said before or as i said before fair to up tilt to up b let's see it there we go that's what it'll look like you could also do a fair to up tilt to up tilt if you don't feel comfortable doing side b i know some people are kind of worrisome about doing it because they feel like if they do it they're going to get punished on their landing or something or they'll miss so you could always just do fair to fair or i'm sorry fair to up tilt to up tilt which will look a lot like that just much less damage so keep that in mind and then you can also do another variation of it where instead of doing an up tilt or up b you can throw out an up air around 20% on most characters usually when the percentage is a little bit higher than zero because around this point your second up tilt won't connect and they can usually get out of the way of the up B so let's see what that'll look like real quick see up B won't actually connect but up there should do the trick just fine just like that so that is your first combo guys second combo is going to be one of my personal favorites that cloud has it's very very slick and it's only two hits but when you hit it you just feel like i don't know there's something about hitting it that makes it feel great i think it's the fact that it actually ends with a spike and it's true combo at certain percents that makes it feel so good and i love having these combos that can end in a spike something about it just feels great to me so we're going to put our opponent to around 40 percent you will have to find the weight dependent on the character um usually around 40 percent is the way to go because it, it's just the amount of just the right amount of knockback and stun that lets you pull this off for rob it will work at 40 but you will have to find it on other characters it should be still around 40 though so all we're going to do is we're going to do a falling back air when i say falling i mean like landing back air into a down air but we're gonna have to be very very quick because it's very um like i'm not gonna say it's frame perfect but it does require you to be pretty accurate with your movements and not waste any time so let's try this out real quick see even then uh despite it connecting fully we didn't get the true combo so let's try that one more time there we go and that Rob, like, ordinarily, Rob has no problem making it back to stage. So the fact that even Rob couldn't come back from this is just telling how destructive this combo can be at early percents. There we go. So yeah, that's all it is. Just two simple hits, but it sure feels great to actually hit it. And it's nice to know that you can kill it very, very early percents with Cloud. This next combo is going to be a simple bread and butter that Cloud, I mean, pretty much every Cloud has. It's just a simple one hit and do multiple damage, basically. Um, I'm sure you've seen almost anybody who plays Cloud do it by now. It is just fair and decide B. This works at any percent except for higher percents. So around 0 to 60 is the range at which you can do this. Um, you can also do it with limit, which can be a kill option close to the ledge, which is very useful. But uh, let's show you what this looks like real quick. If you don't land close to your opponent or close to the ground on the first hit of fair, it will not connect into as you just saw there. So I'm gonna try to land the hilt of my blade, kind of where Clown's hands are right here, onto Rob before I do my uh, side B. There we go, 40%. At, oh, let's not do 999 at a little bit higher percents it is much easier to hit because at zero you can kind of fall out sometimes or shield if it's not just perfectly landed with the uh, the hilt of the sword as you see there pretty basic and simple 
You can also do it with your limit. Let's go ahead and put him a little bit higher percent. You can put him to 55 to 60 usually, depending on the weight of the characters, and that will kill from almost where Rob's at. Let's just put him at 30 just for the sake of this. Even then, it still didn't count. One more time. Hopefully, we can do it because... I do not want to have to try this again. Charging limit just takes too long. There you go. So 50% off of basically landing fair. I think it's pretty good. Keeping our opponent at 30%, this next combo is another just simple two hit thing. In fact, it's the same move twice, but it can end in a spike or just in 30%, which is decent to get a 30% combo off two hits or possibly even killing an opponent who's used their jump or just doesn't know how to recover quite well or doesn't have a very good recovery at all, this can also kill very early. So it's just double fair. As I said before, it works around 30 to 60%. I hope I said that before. It does work around 30%. It also works around 60, but it's a little bit harder. Typically, after 60 on most characters, it is very difficult to hit the second hit of any move, of like of fair, of up air, of side B, anything with Cloud, because the first hit of fair usually knocks them back so far that it's almost impossible to do a follow-up. Luckily, um, with these percentages, 30 to 60, it's a little bit easier. I'm gonna go ahead and put our Rob to, uh, let's just do 35 and just see what happens. So, double fair. Oh, completely missed that one. Let's try it again. There we go, double fair. Uh, 30%, two hit combo. And it does spike on the ledge as well, which is nice. Now, if he was at a higher percent, let's put him around 45 and see if we can kill him. There we go. And that one did spike off the ledge and kill around 45. So typically maybe around, let's say over 40%, this can be a kill confirm as well, which is nice. So now you have two different kill confirms that end in spikes. Another simple two hit combo for you guys, but this time we're gonna make use of our finishing touch. This works anywhere from zero to 90, but don't do it at lower percents because you probably won't get the kill with it at like 20 to 30 percent and on top of that the damage output isn't there but this is a good way to get a kill even an early kill if you have platforms like on a final or like on a battlefield type map so make sure you land the sour spot of your up there, up there. And when you do that it's just a simple two hit combo to death as i said before if you do happen to do this at around lower percents it's just not worth it because the damage, while the up air will do a little bit of damage, as you see there, around 10%, the final touch will only do one. And if you can't get the kill off the final, or not final touch, finishing touch, I'm sorry. If you can't get the kill off the finishing touch, you basically just wasted your limit when you could have used it for something like your recovery or something much more useful that does a lot more damage. So just keep that in mind. Do this when you think you can actually get the kill, not just to be flashy, because you do not want to waste your limit. I have two more sets of combos for you guys today, and I call them sets because they it's basically one move that can set up into almost anything that Cloud has. So uh, we're going to cover like a whole bunch of little small ones right now, and we're going to go on to the next combo. So this works from basically any percent, but uh, try to remain try to remind yourself that like if you go really high, it's probably going to be really difficult to land most of these. But all you're going to do is up air into basically any aerial you have or any special except for neutral B. Don't do neutral B out of up air. Or if you're at low percents, you could do up tilt and even up smash or F tilt. So we're gonna try to show off a few of these right now, but I'll make sure to definitely include kind of like the, um, I guess the combinations above. So here we go. So we got up air into uh, up air. Let's do it up air into up air. Super simple. Let's put our percent a little bit higher. Not that high. Put our percent a little bit higher so I can at least show you a little bit better instead of having to wait for him to fall down. We got up air to up air. We got up air to nair. We got our up air to forward air. We got our uh, up air to back air. That's a really good one for killing off the ledge at later percents as well. We have our up air to down air. Oop, let's try that again and not whiff. There we go. I suppose if your opponent's drifting right, you could even do that one to try to spike your opponent. If we can actually land it, let's try that one more time. But you gotta be very careful. Uh, as I said before, you could do up air to up smash, just for some damage. Up air, oops, let's try that one more time. Up air to up tilt for some damage. You can even do your up air to F tilt at a little bit lower percents for some damage too. There you go. 
basically if you can think it you can do it with up air up air is a very very solid combo starter and it's very good for juggling keeping your opponent in the air which is exactly what cloud wants to do so pretty much if you can imagine it you can do it and as i said before these do work much later my personal favorite one to do is to do your up air into a uh, back air and it's just it's almost a kill option let's put our opponent a little bit higher just to show that it can kill even at higher percents Maybe our opponent's just too high for that. There we go. But you could even do other stuff too. You could do your specials like I said if you wanted to. Let's drop the percent so we can make the specials easier. So yeah, you can do your specials out of them. You can even do your limit if you want to. You could basically do fully charge limit into some of this stuff. But basically the possibilities are endless. So just do whatever you guys want to do. Um, I'm sure there's tons more that I didn't show you that you could possibly do, but basically that's the whole idea behind it. I have one last set of combos to cover for the video, and then we will be done with our cloud guide. So we're going to set our opponent to 20%, but we could even have him as high as 50, 50-ish uh, kind of percent, 55 would even count. Uh, let's just do 20 just for the sake of it. Actually, let's do 25. But what we're going to be doing is we can do our back air into dash attack or or we can do a back air into our F tilt or up tilt or even up B. So really it's just bear into dash attack or bear into F tilt or up B or up tilt. So I'll show you that look like real quick. Oh, maybe I need to get a little bit higher percent on this guy already. There we go. Nah, that's plenty of percent I guess. 27 puts him in a really bad advan or really bad state off stage, so basically try to punish him accordingly um, you can do bear into your F tilt there you go bear into up oh missed that entirely bear into up tilt really let's try that again cloud well, you're just not gonna work with me maybe I should do it a different way then hmm being difficult there we go had to get a little bit closer for that or you can do your bear into up B. If I manage to land it, there we go. So, just easy damage. You could also do things like this is just like that's basically it for those combos. Here's just a little extra bonus that I forgot to include. This is going to be a nair into your down tilt. You can do nair into up tilt, just covering everything. Nair into <laughs> basically, there's just a ton of things you can do. The you're, as long as you can imagine it, you should be fine. Um, but anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed, maybe learned how to play Cloud through this video. Thank you again to Dakota Blank for suggesting it, as well as the Pokemon channel or the PKMN channel, depending on how you say it. If you do comment in this video, feel free to let me know how to say it, just so I can know for my own sanity, because it's going to drive me crazy not knowing. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more.